Thy wheel of fate turns ever to the dark. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Very well. Choose. of the gate. Time has come. Remove the outsiders! Important is ever easy.
still breathing, despite everything. Thy wheel of... Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps... A then thou must return with the proper payment. This is the price of balance. Well counted. By doom and dusk I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. Well, it ends not as bad as it could have. What to do? This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. Art thou certain? A single mortal soul, tossed as the errant coin. So it shall be. Growing eye. Let's not do anything suspicious while it's way. watching. But Scout said they heard something moving around out there. Something big. It's not our concern. Our prey is elsewhere. Your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. I ain't no use without my limbs. The lad'll make the prisoner squeal soon enough, I swear. Silence now, creature, or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul? Praise be, sister. Are you here to join my hunt? Worshippers of a false god. Their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievable.
leave as blood spilled and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the Gith artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Absolute's clutches. The thief whimpering in our dungeon tried to flee to their sanctuary. We will continue to remove parts of him until he tells us exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Speak, true soul. The hunt must begin soon. If you played a part in thinning their numbers, I commend your efforts. Together, we will slaughter any who remain. Join me in my warband at the Grove. It will fall. Gather the raiders. These cultists. It is yes, your ladyship. Could we they won't need let the you artifact down. Artifact that we carry. If that's the case, we've got more problems than just the worms in our heads. They drink liquor. Absolute. The grapes or apples or some other rubbish. <sighs> Praise the Absolute, sister. She will reward us well for this exquisite carnage. There were few left alive. You began the slaughter without me, I assume. The Absolute loves you, true soul. And serving her, as you have, is the path to true power. There is a bond between us, true soul. I can see what you are. What you want. And you can see what I want. Through her eyes, you see yourself. Skin glistening with sweat, hands bound. Ecstasy or terror, maybe both. You feel her breath on your neck, her fingers running down your spine, and then it is over. I will come to your camp tonight. We will celebrate this victory together. As you approach your camp, the raucous celebrations have already begun. Volo has fallen into the goblins' clutches again and appears to be chronicling your misdeeds. The goblins praise the Absolute, but their celebrations also honor their leaders, Minthara and you. You fought well. 
And so did these creatures, thanks to our leadership. When you tire of their company, come to me. Tonight, you are mine. She looks you up and down, her mind touches yours. You feel her hand at your neck, her lips closing around yours. Are you ready to give yourself to me? Good. I will join you when you go to your bed. You are mine. Wait until morning, true soul. All will be revealed. The absolute The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? You are here. Good. Come with me. Now, lie down. Your obedience will make this more enjoyable for both of us. Tell me what you want. And you shall have me. As your bodies lock together, so do your minds. Her whole being is laid bare before you. And half hidden at the center of her desire, you discover something unexpected. Fear. I would have you by my side in Menzo Berenson when our work on the surface is done. Speak to me. Tell me what is in your heart. <laughs> As did I. During the battle, my mind raced, my blood burned. I was righteous. But tonight, I only heard your breath and your voice. The absolute was silent. And, strange to say, that brought me comfort. How is that possible? The artifact pulses softly, sending out a warning. It is a friend. This is blasphemy. But so much that has happened since I left the Underdark is like a dream of somebody else's life. I do not know myself anymore, except tonight. Tonight, I wanted this for myself. I must pray, and you must rest. 
Tomorrow, we will have fresh orders. In your dream, you stand over yourself as you sleep. A knife in your hand. Murder in your heart. You are ready to strike, to end your own life. But then a shock runs through your mind. This is no dream. Wake up, Truso. We must talk. I watched over you as you slept, peaceful and silent. And I spoke to our god. I asked her why she had chosen you, made you one of her faithful, when you are so clearly broken. Beautiful, but broken. There is something missing in you, and I do not understand it. When the Absolute failed to answer me, I feared that you had somehow infected me with that same absence. And so I decided that you must die. But then, a miracle happened. As I took out my blade, her voice returned to me. And she told me what I must do to purge myself of doubt. She told me to decide your fate. To determine if you are worthy. If you are, I am to send you into her embrace. At the seat of her power. Travel to Moonrise. We will meet again there, at the heart of the Absolute's power. I do not know, but I do know that she allowed me to spare you. When you meet her at Moonrise, she will show you her design and your part in it. She will test you. If you fail, you will break. If your faith is strong, you will become something even more beautiful. With difficulty, but I can help. The land around Moonrise is cursed. Traveling there will sap your strength and your sanity, but I can protect you. A wretched creature in my service can guide you through the curse. This harp will summon him. Play it when you are in the shadows and he will come to you and know that you are a friend. He was a drow once. Now he is an abomination, a victim of Lolth's cruelty. His minions will wait for you at the mountain pass on the threshold of the Shadow Curse. I warn you, he is quite mad, but he knows the path to Moonrise better than anyone. Go to him when you are ready. I will lead what remains of my forces to Moonrise ahead of you. <laughs> when we next meet, we will be together in the Absolute's presence, and she will make us her champions. Defender of the people. interesting I hope that's the end of this silly quarrel they'll have no energy for battling our enemies if Lazel and Shadowheart are too busy squabbling among themselves 
Well met. Pride of the gate. <laughs> 